everyone, it's me, Alex, and to everyone's favourite bird, Archie! So you guys all know what's going down in the makeup world. The Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collaboration on the Conspiracy palette literally broke the internet. I was one of the first people in line to buy the Shane Dawson palette. I was on the website at 4am local time here in Australia, refreshing the page. I was definitely one of the people that contributed to breaking the internet. The second the collection went live, the entire Jeffree Star Cosmetics website went down. It wouldn't load and most of us couldn't purchase any items. It took about half an hour before before I was able to get through to the website. And when I finally did, I added the full collection to my cart and I also added the lipstick vault and I added some accessories. I added the mirror and the bags and basically everything. Then I went to check out and I was in line to check out for 45 minutes. When I finally did check out, I paid for everything. I got the page saying, congratulations, your order is confirmed. You'll receive a confirmation email shortly. So then I went to bed because by this point it was about 5.30 in the morning. And when I woke up in the morning, I had no confirmation email, no money taken from my PayPal account. And when I went into my Jeffree Star Cosmetics account, it told me there was an issue with my cart and all the items were sold out. So I like a a lot of people missed out on buying the items directly from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but luckily for me, I had thought ahead and I had purchased everything from a local Australian website called Princess Polly. So Princess Polly actually had everything available at about 3.50 a.m., which was 10 minutes before the official launch time. Very sneaky. <laughs> they didn't have bundles or anything like that, so what I had done was I purchased everything on Princess Polly, and I thought, what I'll do, I'll buy some from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and I'll buy some from Princess Polly. That way, I'll end up with two, and I can give one lot away. But I was only able to actually get it from Princess Polly, so right now I don't have anything for a giveaway, but hopefully, when everything gets restocked, I'll be able to pick it up again, and then hopefully I'll be able to host a giveaway for it, because I know there's so many people out there that want slash need this collection, but either it's too expensive for them or they just couldn't get it because of popular demand. So anyway, let's quickly talk about the issues with Shopify. Shopify is the platform that Jeffrey uses to host his website. Basically, everyone that's watched the series was attempting to check out at once and the whole thing failed. It is really unfortunate because Shopify did promise Jeffrey and Shane that there wouldn't be any issues. They did say that in the series, they said Shopify is prepared for the amount of people that are going to come to the site. They definitely weren't. There were a lot of people on Twitter that were really, really upset, myself included. And I did notice a huge amount of comments coming to Shane and Jeffrey's defense. You know, people jumping in and saying, don't blame Shane, don't blame Jeffrey, it's Shopify's fault. I feel so terrible for them, particularly for Shane, because we all know how much Shane takes things very personally. He does suffer from anxiety issues, and I can't even imagine how horrifying it would have been for him, because I did see more negative tweets than I saw positive tweets. It was almost as though like 80% of the tweets that I read were people getting really, really upset. And then there was about 20% of the tweets saying, yay, I checked out and I got my stuff so I can completely understand how Shane must feel that all of this went down the way that it did but regardless congratulations to them on the huge success of their launch I think Shane and Jeffrey really did make history with this one I for one have found it so interesting watching the beautiful world of Jeffrey Star I'm really glad that they decided to focus on the business aspect rather than the drama aspect if you guys remember casting your mind back to when they first aired the trailer we did get little snippets of the Tati and James Charles drama we saw some tears in the trailer Trailer. We saw tea being spilled, but so far none of that's happened. I know that there are some people that are upset about that. They were probably only here for the tea. I'm really glad that it's taken a business focused approach because it's been so fascinating to learn about just order volumes and the way that they price their items and how many, how many items they order, how they market it, how they go about their campaigns. One of my main concerns when I was watching the series was in episode, it may have been episode four, when they were sort of piecing together the palette and they had the blood sugar palette sitting next to the prototype of the conspiracy palette and to me at least on screen it looked as though there was a lot of similarities with the neutral colors so in today's video uh, I have a collection of Jeffree Star palettes here I've purchased a fair few of them over the past year and what I'm gonna do today is try and compare some of the shades in the Shane Dawson conspiracy palette and see how they compare to some of the shades that Jeffree's already launched I feel like there's a couple of different types of consumers of the Shane Dawson palette. There's the people that are buying it that aren't even into makeup, they're just buying it because they love Shane Dawson and they want to support him. Then there's the people that love the colors, they like Jeffree Star Cosmetics, maybe they don't necessarily know who Shane is, 
who doesn't know who Shane is, but there would be some people that are buying it because they're Jeffree Star fanatics and they just wanted to pick it up to add to their collection. And then there'd be people that are looking at it, loving the colors. Maybe they're not fussed about Shane or Jeffree, but they really like the product itself or they like the shades. So what I want to try and do is get to the bottom of whether if you're consumer number three, maybe you're just interested in buying an interesting eyeshadow palette, whether you actually need the Shane Dawson palette. Are the colors unique, or at least compared to the rest of Jeffree's palettes that he's launched in the past? We're also going to do swatches, and my friend Tiasha will join me later. Tiasha has a different skin tone to me, so we're going to see how the eyeshadow reacts on the two different skin tones and who certain colors look better on. And then at the end, if you want to stick around, I'll try and do a look with the makeup. I'm no beauty guru myself. I'm a birdie guru. I can only do my best, but I, I do want to play around with the colors and see what I can create. So uh, this video is in a few different parts, so I'll put timestamps below if you want to check them out. But without further ado, I think that's enough talking. Let's have a look at the items that I picked up from Princess Polly. Okay. Ouch. I have my little platter of conspiracy goodness. What do you think, Archie? Here I have all six shades of lipstick. I also picked up the gloss, which is in a very big box. I didn't expect it to be in such a massive box for something that's so thin. I've got the Shane Dawson Conspiracy Palette, which is very, very heavy. This seems like the thickest one so far. Blood Sugar and Blue Blood were very, very chunky palettes, but this one is like a brick. I feel like if you bought enough of these, you could build a house out of it. We also have, excuse me, the Mini Controversy Palette here, which has very interesting packaging. This packaging is textured. It's got a really rough feel to it. It looks like static from a TV and the whole surface is textured too. I love how much time and effort that Jeffrey puts into his packaging. Extra points for attention to detail. And then last we have the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson Pig Mirror. I picked this up in pink but this was available in black too. I love the way that it sits in the phone that protects it. The last time I bought a Jeffree Star mirror when I pulled it out of the box the mirror part was not attached to the plastic and when I picked it up there was a strip of glue on the backing of the mirror and the mirror was no longer attached. Good to see this one is still attached. What do you think Archie? This mirror is huge. This is significantly larger than the Jeffree Star mirror, probably because the star itself goes like that and it cuts off a lot of surface area. This one is quite large. I'm actually not that impressed with the feel of the plastic of this one. The Jeffree Star hand mirrors feel ever so slightly different. This one feels very, very light. This actually to me seems lighter than my Jeffree Star star mirror. I love this pig head that they came up with, with the the dead eyes. I believe that the black one is matte. I don't think that it's shiny like this one. What? So let's start with the mini controversy palette. I love that it's holographic. I think that's epic. One of the things that I was worried about with these palettes, I thought that they would look a little bit hot topic. I do have higher hopes for the conspiracy palette than the mini controversy palette. I just think that this cardboard versus, you know, some of the other things that Jeffrey's come out with. Let's take the mini breaker, for example. These are exactly the same size, but the mini breaker, this is a matte cardboard. The mini breaker text is 3D. It sticks up. And because it's matte, there's something about matte packaging that's just that little bit more luxurious than this sort of shiny cardboard. Okay, let's have a look inside. Okay, we are not damaged. Whenever I order eyeshadow online, I'm always very, very worried that the shadows will turn up damaged, but they all look great. I actually prefer the color scheme of the mini controversy palette to the larger palette. Some of my friends were telling me they didn't like the look of this one at all. I really like this very light blue color here, Flat Earth, and I love the shade Exposed as well. This one has a really interesting texture to it. It's three-dimensional, pulls out like a tray. Wow, this is so heavy. Now, right off the bat, let's pick up Blood Sugar, Blue Blood, and this one. I think this is ever so slightly thicker than Blue Blood. Blue Blood is a shiny cardboard. Blood Sugar is almost like a leather feel, like a fake leather feel. And this one is a mix of matte and a very shiny sort of texture. Oh, I just noticed there's even a tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny little pink star on the triangle. I didn't notice that based on the pictures. I'm amazed that Jeffrey and Shane managed to take a black and white conspiracy theme and turn it into something so high end. Let's open her up. I like that the metal clasps are a really dark metal and nothing's damaged. I didn't realize that the food video shade actually has some little flecks, like little shiny flecks in it. I thought that it was a matte yellow, but it looks like it's got a little bit of shimmer. I, like everyone I bet, love the way that there are neutrals as well as fun colors in here. Can we just take a moment of silence? for the unnamed green shade. 
I got so excited about that one particular green shade that they showed in episode four. I thought it was incredible and so beautiful and I was really looking forward to it. We have Conspiracy, which is kind of like a, a money colored green and then Illuminati, which is a very, very dark green. But I'm really sad that that really nice vibrant green isn't in here. I love the shade Trisha, but there is a shade, I think it might be in Jawbreaker, that seems quite similar to that. And we've got some bluish colors like What's the Tea in the Blue Blood palette. We'll get to the comparison soon, but let's have a look at the lipsticks now. This packaging is everything to me. My favorite Jeffree Star lipstick packaging was the Holiday 2017 collection, I think it was. It was this beautiful pink with like sparkles all over it. That will forever be my all time favorite packaging for any product that I own. This comes in very, very close. I love that it's got this very dark gunmetal kind of silver. This just feels luxurious to an extent. It is very light. I wish that there was a little bit more heft to it, a little tiny bit more weight, because looking at it, you expect, you know, you see something dark, gray, shiny, you think of metal. And when you think of metal, you think it's gonna be heavy, but it is plastic. So it's, it's like a little bit of a mind trick. It's not as heavy as you expect it to be, but it's still very, very solid packaging. So this is the shade I Gotta Go. Whoa, wow, ah. This shade is called Oh My God. That was the first thing I wanted to say when I pulled it out of the packaging. Oh my God, that is a beautiful shade of pink. This is going to look horrible on me, I can guarantee it. But the good thing about the Jeffree Star lipsticks is you can use them as like an eyeshadow base, eye color, eye liner. They are eye safe. This would look ridiculous on my lips, I'm pretty sure. But we'll try it on a bit later. Next up we have Jeffree, what the f Wow! You know what's so funny? On camera, these didn't translate. These didn't translate very well on camera. When I was looking at these in the series, I didn't think that they were as bold and as beautiful as they are. This is a very, very hot pink. Of course, this is the shade that's called Jeffrey. What the f That is the most Jeffrey star pink. Wow, this is the shade Ryland. That is stunning. I wish that these sort of pinky colors would suit my complexion because that is the most beautiful pearlescent pink. That looks amazing. The shade Shane. Thank you. I don't like this shade, personally. I could never wear this on my lips, I, I don't think. I mean, may maybe if I was doing a really dark, smoky, vampy look, I would. This is probably a good one for eyeliner for me. I don't know, I just can't imagine wearing this sort of dark, what would you even call this? Like a shimmery brown? I don't know. And the last shade is Are You Filming? You're getting very good at opening these. Now this is one that I will wear. Red lipsticks look nice on me. I can attest to the fact that the Jeffree Star lipstick formula is very long wearing. What I like to do is I like to start with the liquid lip and then I put a standard lipstick over the top, like a bullet lipstick. Anyway, I find that, that they last the longest when you do that. If you use this as a base, it won't budge. This is actually almost the exact same shade of red as Archie has under his wings. Okay, that's all the lipsticks, and the last thing to look at is the gloss, or Shane Glosson. Personally, I don't really like the shape. I don't know what it is. Kind of reminds me of a chess piece. I am not so much about that. I mean, it is very Jeffrey. I'll give him that. And it's unique as well. I've never seen packaging like this before. Now, what intrigues me most is that this is supposed to smell like diet root beer. Now, I don't know what the smell difference is between diet root beer and standard root beer. <laughs> Ready? Yes, it smells like root beer. It also smells a little bit like a medicine that I used to take as a kid, but not in a bad way. I love that smell. That's a very confronting scent. If you aren't such a fan of scented products, stay away because that smells really, really intense. I think it's time now to do some swatches and then we're gonna try and find some comparisons in the other palettes. So I will call Tiasha in and we're back. I have replaced Archie with Tiasha. Uh, Archie and Tiasha don't get on that well. He likes to take chunks out of her ears. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> she I thinks you don't, ears. you don't have enough piercings. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks you need more. He's trying to be helpful, I understand. Yeah. Obviously Tiasha and I have very different skin tones, so yes. it's always interesting to see how lipstick and eyeshadows perform different on both of us. Mm. We filmed a video for House Labs, <laughs> the Lady Gaga makeup. That was a catastrophe. <laughs> and then it kind of got to a point where I was like, house makeup is old news now yeah. because the Shane thing happened. So I didn't post it, but we do have that video where we compared the lipsticks yeah. and the eye products and, and it was everything. actually very surprising results. We couldn't believe it, they, how different things The colors looked, looked yeah, yeah, it was incredible. So if you want to see that, just yeah. tell us in the comments below. But I mean, we know that's old news. Yeah. Gaga's <laughs> so 2000 and what, yeah. well, <laughs> compared to Shane is the new Gaga. <laughs> I actually, in the Shane series, like the lipsticks look so insane on that brown girl. Yeah. She's the model and it's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. They look so, 
and then Shane wears it and you're kind of like, not quite the same, is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So maybe we're going to shock everyone with how good it looks Ooh, on you. I hope so. There are a couple of shades I think are going to look incredible on you, and I don't think they'll look any good on me. Let's see. So, um, <laughs> okay, let's dive into conspiracy first. Ooh. There she is. What do you think? I am very excited for it. Excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Did you buy this? Um, me and Millie are going to split it in Christmas. Oh, it's really? It's a present to ourselves. But it's not in stock. Well, it will be. Relax. <laughs> One day. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's permanent, by it the is, way. Yeah. It's not limited edition. Yeah. So even if you don't get it now, or you don't get it until halfway through next year, you'll be able to get it whenever. Okay, there she is. Now, Tiasha pointed out to me that this shade here looks a little bit manky. Mm. There's something funny going on with the edges there. But aside from that, everything looks perfect. Um, so let's start off with the shade Ranch. Okay. Now, my criticism of this was I thought that it should have had flecks of green in it because that would have made sense. It makes sense, but also, can you imagine wearing a white eyeshadow with flecks of green? No. <laughs> One swipe, looking... Wow! wow! Look at you! It's glowing! What? Wow! That's in, that looks incredible. It looks awesome on Tiasha. I love it on you though. Like Do it you? just it doesn't have to stand out. Sometimes like a subtle, you know, that's nice. Yeah, that's true. This would be a really nice brow bone highlight for me. My pills. Wow. I didn't expect there to be that much pigment on that. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love my pills. That's so nice. Yummy. Love that. Yummy. Tanacon. Oh. Wow, that's oh. so buttery. I like that better on you, I think. Yeah, I like that on me too. You <gasps> know what? Pretty. It looks significantly lighter mm. on you than it looks on me. Mm. Even though it's exactly the same. But just the way that my skin, I don't know, reflects the yeah. light or something. Mm -hmm. It looks like a nude on you, but it looks brown on me. I love that. Mm. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Diarubia. Diarubia. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I was excited. It's just... <laughs> Wow, it looks so nice on you! <gasps> it's such a beautiful colour. It is a really mm. nice colour. I feel like that would, for you, that would be really good for blending edges. Definitely. To like mm -hmm. make the colour look transition yeah, really nicely. totally. Just a theory. Whoa! Ah, wow! 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 That looks so different Wowie. on you! That oh is God. a good colour. Wow! Mm, that looks amazing on you. That's pretty. Oh my gosh, you're very good at swat. How are you getting those swatches so nice? I got nice? thick fingers. <laughs> the trick <Wow>. is fat <laughs> fingers. <laughs> okay, look at all these colours together so wow, far. They're beautiful. That's really nice. That's already like a cohesive look. Like if you that could was just... a mini palette, mm. I feel like just imagine spiraling. I'm nervous about this one. Oh. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Eh. Meh. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it looks much redder. The red tones are coming out yeah. on you and the grey. Yeah, yeah. greyish, like almost purpley mm. too, I can kind of see there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, I feel like that could have been the green shade. Do you remember the unnamed <laughs> green shade? We don't talk about the, the unnamed green <laughs> That could have been a spot for that one, but um, that dark colour <laughs> dark is right? not coming off. Oh my goodness. What? Why is it? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no! What? I am spiraling right now. <laughs> Look, it's not coming off at all. No matter how much I wipe it, all the other colours have come off. Yeah, that... it looks branded. Oh my god, what? <laughs> no! <laughs> Next row. Ooh, conspiracy. Conspi this is the namesake. Yeah. So this has to be. This has to be the one. And it is an interesting colour. It looks like money. American money. Yeah. Actually, it's the same shade as my dress by the looks of it. Mm. Very, very similar. <laughs> like, this literally looks just like an American dollar dollar bill, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, it's rich. Oh my. Oh, it looks nice on you. You say that after every shade. I do, I do. I like that. I really like that I think green. It's beautiful. This is very buttery. Mm. It's not as pigmented. This looks like it'll be really easy to blend. Mm. Okay, pigment. <gasps> the this, prettiest one. I love this. It's interesting though, in the pan, it looks kind of like a muted pink, would you say? Yeah. But on, it's more vibrant. Yeah, definitely. Mine's almost fluoro pink. Yeah. Yours is a more of the color in the pan, I think. Yeah, I would say so. Okay, food videos. Oh, here now, we go. Now this is the one I said at the start mm. that I thought this was matte, but if you look at it, can you see there's little tiny bits of shimmer? Oh, wow, yeah. So I'm really interested to see what oh, this no. looks like. I thought it was matte too. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh my wow. god, I'm nervous. Oh, ew. It's like a highlighter. It literally looks like a big highlighter. <laughs> This is like a back to school makeup video when you want to look like your pencil case. Even the pink now next to it. Yeah. We just need a green. That is so, so vibrant. Ooh. Actually, the, the texture of that, it feels a little bit chalky. Chalky. Yeah. Does yours feel? Yes. Yeah, yours does. When I put Touching it, on, I was it, like... it feels chalky. Jeffrey said something interesting on Snapchat the other day. What did he say? He said that to get this 
shade. The supplier that they used to get this pigment, there's yeah. a, an ingredient in this pigment, they used six years worth of that supplier's stock of this colour and that's why wow. they're only able to make 60,000 more right now and they won't be any more until next year because pigment. they've run out of the actual, what they need to create this Do you colour. know what, what it is that makes the colour? Oh, Crushed I'm, up beetles. Yeah, it's always going to be something weird. <laughs> no, this weird. is vegan so it's not beetles. Oh, of course. <laughs> Do bugs count? Of course they do. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, for me. Maybe it's turmeric. <laughs> okay, Trisha. From what I saw on Trisha's face, it looks so nice. Oh, Did you see her I full didn't watch face? It. I saw her thumbnail, but it's I... It's so funny. She does, like, she uses it for her lips and highlighter, too. Oh, and really? it looks amazing. It looks so good. Ooh, Ooh. it's good. It's wow. good! Wow! Looks very different on both of us. Yeah. I, that's almost picking up purple tones oh, on you. wow. And then on me it looks quite hot pink. Yeah, yours is hot pink. I like that. I love that colour. There's a colour in Jawbreaker that that reminds me of. Mm. So we'll... We'll test that out as comparison. well. Yep. Now pink colours, remember the James Charles, did you see no. that when he had his palette and Cody Rance put on a pink or red shade or whatever yeah. it was and it stained her eyelids and <gasps> she got really angry? It, pinks and stuff, there's something in them that will yeah, stain. Yeah, Jeffrey's come out and said that too. Yeah, Jeffrey's very open yeah. about that. But I don't remember them saying much about that in this? For this. Mm. I don't know. Cheese dust. Now in the pan, cheese dust is not very vibrant. No, but it looks matte and beautiful. It, it looks does look perfect. really nice. Oh, oh no, that's disappointing. Oh. That's so disappointing. Gee, that came off as nothing. Yeah, should I go back? Yeah, or do it I... again. Okay. I mean, that's the thing. I guess with swatches, you can't really judge a colour based on a swatch because yeah. when you're doing an eye look, you're dipping your brush in yeah. over and over again. Don't always base things off swatches. That's a hundred. I don't know why I thought it was like a one take. It's, just, it's yeah. just, compared to everything, Everything else yeah. so far has been one swipe. Yeah. This one had to go into it. Now that I've put a second layer, it looks a bit better. This Mine's looks like a, a salmon-y, peachy yeah. colour on you, but it looks really vibrant on me. Yours really does look like Cheeto dust. It does. Whereas mine looks more like an eyeshadow inspired by Cheeto dust. <laughs> <laughs> Flaming hot. Hmm. Again, yeah. this one didn't swatch so well the first time. I'm already going back in for go seconds. Up a second time. Ooh, still. Wow, that's a hard... You know what? This actually doesn't look flaming hot. Flaming hot, yeah. the thing is like... Flaming hot. <laughs> I think Jeffrey already used the flaming hot color in his in blood, the blood sugar, sugar yeah. probably. Prick, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that there. one. That's flaming hot. Yeah. This is like seductive. Yeah, this reminds me of a lipstick actually, this mm. pink, this mm -hmm. red color. This really looks like like Ruby Woo, the mm -hmm. lipstick by MAC. I would literally, I think, use all of these. Would you? In moderation. In moderation. Use <laughs> your Jeffree Star palettes in moderation. Kids. Yeah. Be responsible. <laughs> Okay, let's see if this stains. Oh my god, Alex. <laughs> Your arm Yikes. is just bright red. Uh, <laughs> this is like when I was in school and kids used to corner me and then give me, you know, those burns. Chinese like burns. That. I looked like this quite often at school. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I got darker Devastating. every occasion. That is not. That's not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash it. So I just used a Neutrogena Deep Clean Micellar Gel that I always mm. use to take off my makeup at the end of the day. It basically worked. There's yeah. a tiny little bit of red that just doesn't want to come off, but that could be irritation. Yeah. Because I was scrubbing, You're scrubbing. so hard. Yeah, yeah. So um, makeup removal wipes not so well. <laughs> yeah. Like you shouldn't be scrubbing your face with makeup removal wipes yeah, anyway. Yeah. That's not so good. Pulling your skin like that. Next row. What's the tea? This is my least favorite row, but what's the tea is probably my favorite look oh, shade. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Oh, yes. It's running out, but it's beautiful. Look That's at that on lovely. you. It's not showing up so well on me. How you know your swatch is a square. How are you doing that? My fing Oh, you know <laughs> what? My fingers aren't as elegantly shaped as yours. That's why. <laughs> that you have a swatch. <laughs> <laughs> how do you have rectangle swatches? <laughs> I have square fingers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Diet Cola. Now, wasn't this a last minute addition? I don't know. Yeah, was I'm pretty sure it was. Oh. I seem to remember in one of the later episodes, they were playing around with stuff and they pressed it. Oh. And then they were like, that's it, that's no, it. No, it's the other way around. I think he was experimenting. It was the first one they made. Was it? Because he was experimenting and then he was like, I just made the perfect. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, see, I, the jumping around with the time got me very, very confused. <laughs> okay, Diet Cola. This also has like an almost replica in another one of Jeffrey's palettes. Oh. So it'll be interesting. Ooh, wow. Wow. That, that is ah! crazy. I love it! Wow! wow. <laughs> okay, we're fans of the Diet Cola. That's really nice. It's stunning. It definitely pops. I think everything pops more yeah. on darker skin. Sure. But even on me, you can still That's kind of lovely. see it there. It's still there. Those two together on your skin That's is really such, nice. so pretty. Yeah, those two together is mm. good. That would work really nicely for an eyeshadow mm. look. Uh, not a fact. <gasps> wow. I like that. That is nice. I'm going to use that a lot. In, yeah. I'm going to use that 
a lot. Ooh, that is so beautiful. Wow. Sleep paralysis. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. That pulls some purple shades that went. Wow. That looks very different on you again. I can see a little bit of purple in yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. That's a very unusual color. Sleep paralysis. It is. Okay, Illuminati. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. That, yeah, that is looks nice. really pretty. Yeah, I, I like it. Oh, it's dark for you. It's very yeah. dark on me. It's like very, very mm. dark. Last but not least, my rides here called it. <laughs> In my reaction video, I was like, they can't say my Uber's here. They're going to get sued. And people were like, you can't trademark the word Uber because Uber means, what is it, super or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uber means Uber. great mm. or super or mm. something. Mm. Uh, in German. German. Yeah. Mm. And they were like, they can't trademark the word Uber. Turns out, Chan. Yeah. You can trademark <laughs> anything. Doesn't did it Kylie? Kylie? Yeah. Rise, Rise and shine. And shine. <laughs> <laughs> My ride's here. Oh. Uh, ooh. Ooh. So the black shade that I normally use, I use, there's a black shade in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, and that's my go-to black. I find that it's the deepest black. This one, in a swatch, looks equally, Ooh. equally deep. Is that one matte as well? Yes, it's matte, Ooh. yeah. That together as well looks, looks quite cohesive. They really are all cohesive looks. Yeah. They've really thought about yeah. it. Yeah, and it's interesting how going across or yeah. going down, I think that these can work well oh, whichever direction that you go. All right, time for mini controversy. I think we can do all of this in one go. Okay, let's do it. So, Flat Earth. Earth. Oh, I like that. I love that. It's a little chalky on it me. It is definitely chalky on you, but it's coming up really nice. It is pretty. The color is stunning. The color's beautiful. Cry on my couch. Right. This is for me the shade that I would use all over the lid as a base, mm, definitely. Yeah. Oh, these are all chalky for me. That is, again, yeah, very really chalky. Pretty, though. My boyfriend's purse. Oh. <gasps> Whoa, I that's love nice. That. That's that nice. Is very pretty. Gee, okay, that's a new favorite shade of mine. That's really pretty. Love yeah. it. Controversy. I'm very excited about this shade. Purple is my favorite color. Mm. Now, that didn't swatch very well. Ooh, that swatched nice for me. For you, it did. Oh, maybe I'm doing my swatch wrong. <laughs> now, we've swatched Diet Root Beer before. My Apology. Ooh, wow, I love that. Okay. That's stunning. Wow, that is like one of my favorite colors. That's beautiful. Now exposed. Oh. This is, a, oh, I love this color ah, so excited. much. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is your like pretty pastel yep. color. Oh, oh no, no, it doesn't, no, I mean, it's okay. Wait, go in for seconds. Yeah. That's Ooh, it's maybe on my eye that'll look different. Cancelled. Oh, that looks beautiful. This is a really cool blue. Whoa! <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm excited. Oh wow! <gasps> oh wow. wow! Okay, that's a standout color. <laughs> that's definitely a standout. This is so pretty. Jeffrey really nails it with these like bold colors. Yeah. That I is think so it's nice. a specialty, right? It's like, a specialty. Those ones seem to be the ones that are doing the best as yeah. well. Yeah, and the simulation. Oh. That is not as vibrant as I thought. Oh, it looks good on you. I'm gagging. Looks great on you. I think, though, even though these are all cool tones, I think it's very cohesive. Yeah. I think that this, just looking at it as a little square mm. and looking at all those together, it makes sense. It makes sense. It's a good color story. There's a story, yeah. There's a story. Okay, time for lips. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the most exciting part for me because we're going to be putting them on mm -hmm. and they always look very, very different depending on your skin tone. So, where should we start? Let's Light to dark? Light to dark. Let's okay, so the oh. lightest is probably this one. It's going to look so bad on me. I think that'll look bad on me too, so don't worry. <laughs> what, where's the, am I blind? What color is this? It's on the bottom. Oh, it's called Oh My God. Okay. Well, Oh My God, this is gonna look terrible on me, so. Here's Amira. Thank you very much, madame. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. Is that the shade? Alex, I have something in my teeth! You didn't tell me! <laughs> no! You put this on first while I you remove... Are you clean your teeth! <laughs> if you want to subscribe to Tiasha, <laughs> her account is Marshmallow Girls. <laughs> All right, the shade Oh My God. Ugh. Oh, oh wow. smell that. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, wowee. That is a Barbie pink. Oh, <laughs> I don't know who it's for. It's this is for me in wearing... 2007. That's who this is for. Uh, don't look at me. <laughs> show, show them. Don't look at me. <laughs> This has a really, really unusual consistency, this lipstick. Okay. Okay, sorry Coming guys. Coming close. Get. I can't. <laughs> it's, not gonna be, it's not gonna be off. It's so ugly. I'm sorry, Jeffrey. I'm sorry, Jay. I'm crying. I look so Do you have a like, get shot? Stop! <laughs> 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 
tones are in. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Two two skin tones together. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's so bad. Um, okay. Yeah. It's just a big no. It's making like the rim here. I mean, I have a mustache, but like it's making it more apparent. <laughs> like, I, I don't like this on either of us. But the good thing is that with the Jeffree Star lip products, they are face and eye safe. Oh! So you can use it as an eyeshadow. You could use it as a liner. I can you see know. this as like an eyeshadow. That's Absol like a look. Yeah, you can use yeah. it as like an eyeshadow base. Mm. You can literally have tears. I know. Over your face. <laughs> I really like clickbait title. Can't. Jeffree Star made me cry. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe how I look right now. And also, this is a very unusual texture. Mm. I have a lot of the Jeffree Star liquid lips, mm. and this is the strangest consistency. It's odd, right? Because it seems like sheer, and it doesn't yeah. go on even. It's not even when yeah. you put it on. Mm. Uh, anyway, so this one, let's not use this as a lipstick. No. This one goes away. But it does smell nice if you want to eat amazing. it. It smells amazing. Ooh, it's not coming off. <laughs> it's not coming off. <laughs> oh, no. Is yours coming off? <laughs> If I push really hard, it does. Okay. This stuff is long lasting, Jeffree Star's liquid lips. Okay, while Tiasha goes and washes her face, I'm going to put on the shade Ryland. In the tube, this looks beautiful. This is a beautiful pearlescent color. I don't know how this is going to look on me. A little bit frosty for me, mayhaps. Here goes. Oh. <gasps> These smell incredible, by the way. They have that like sweet, sweet, syrupy, Medicine kind of smell. Ooh, it looks lovely. You look like an angel. Thank you. I love this. Yes. I mean, I don't know if it suits me necessarily, but it's a beautiful color. Oh, it's lovely. This, when I saw this, was like, I was just like, that is Ryland. He nailed yeah, it. And absolutely. it made my heart warm. This is very even. As I put it on, I didn't get any streakiness like the last one. The last one was a little bit streaky. This isn't streaky. It's dried down immediately. And it's kind of dried down to be extremely dry. So, you know, sometimes when your lipstick's drying, and you rub your lips together to try and sort of, you, you know what I'm trying to say, right? Where you go like that. As I close my lips and I try to make them do the rubby thing, they're not rubbing. They're just kind of like staying together because it's like very, very dry. So my lips are kind of going <coughs> instead of sliding over each other like that. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. I like that. Do you? I wouldn't pick it as like a- A shade for me. A shade for you, mm. but on Agreed. you, it's really cool. It is a cool, it is, I think I would wear this to a rave. There you go. <laughs> These lips, uh, they have their occasion. Yes. I mean, I don't really like it on me so much. I think it's, again, that cool toned pink mm. kind of doesn't match. I've got like a peachy complexion rather than a, you know. Yes. Well, they have cool toned skin and warm toned skin. Is that it? Yes. And my skin is warm toned and this is cool toned. Yes. Stunning color. Mm. I don't know about on either of us. Who yeah. do you, What do you guys think? Who do you think it suits better? I don't know. Again, I don't know who this is for or what occasion this is yeah. for, but I will wear this as an eyeshadow. <clears throat> Yes. Absolutely. And also as a, like, you could put a really thin layer of this on top of a darker colour. Yes, and it could right work in the centre. Yeah, yes, that's that a good idea. Oh my god, it doesn't want to come, it's not coming off. These are makeup removal wipes. At least you know you can put this on and kiss your boyfriend and it's yeah. not going to go anywhere. You can mac <laughs> hard. Alright, next shade. Jeffrey, what the f***? <laughs> I'm nervous about this. Oh wow! I'm excited for this one. That looks amazing. So see how I just did my lips like that, where I kind of like rubbed them together and it transferred to my top lip and then I was able to mm. move it around so it's even. Couldn't do that with the last shade. It was just mm. instantly dry. <laughs> Here you go. This reminds me of Girl About Town from MAC. I used to live in that lipstick before I knew what uh, colors I was supposed to wear with my skin tone. I stick to reds and like peachy colors now. Back then when I was like, I'll wear whatever color I want, I used to wear colors like this everywhere. I love it. It's very girly, very Barbie, very, very girly. It's a beautiful shade, really beautiful. And it's a very Jeffree shade too. You should still wear whatever shades you want. Wear whatever makes you happy, guys. <laughs> if someone says something doesn't suit you, that's their problem. You don't have to wear things just because they do or don't suit you. Uh -huh. Wear things that make you happy. It's like, you know how Marie Kondo, whatever her name is, yeah. she's like, pick up the thing, does it bring you joy? If does it, it doesn't bring you joy, joy, yeah, that's it. If you, if you wear a, a color and it sparks joy, keep wearing it even if it doesn't suit you it's personal preference though yeah. if, if you're like this thing doesn't suit me and I don't like it then don't wear it uh -huh. but if you go this thing doesn't suit me but I love it do you you do you oh I love that on you oh, I love it yeah it's nice yes 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 we're getting into we my have... spectrum of colors <laughs> we have a win this is a win what do we think I like it on you better I Wait, think. I need to see both of us at the same time. <gasps> no! No, we both look amazing. We both look amazing. Yes. 
They're just totally different looks. They're, They're very different. so good, yes. Yay! This is a, a great success. Big win. Who's is this? This is Jeffrey, what the f Okay, nice. Jeffrey, what the f we Why is this it. such a good shade? Mm -hmm. We love up. it. Okay, we're red next. So this shade is... Are you filming? Uh, this is Andrew's shade. Andrew's shade. Oh. Here we go. I'm so excited. Yeah, this looks Red beautiful. is my favorite. Yes! <gasps> Queen! Oh, it's a little bit sheer now that I've put it on. Oh, Can you see that? Yes! So I've got to go over again. Oh, the color is so pretty. I kind of like that you have to build it up. Some people might want that kind of tint True. feel. Can you see yeah, down I can here? See I can see the it's, line. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Okay, dip in again. Your turn. Okay. Okay! Wow! Big fan! I like that on you. Big fan! That's this beautiful. is beautiful. I like this on both of us. I think this is equal. Mm. Equally good on darker skin yes. as it is on lighter skin. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful shade. It is really nice and it's really versatile, I feel. Yeah, very mm. versatile. I will wear this a lot. I like mm. red lips for daytime, for nighttime, for work, social events, mm. whatever. Red, Great. Red, red. Yeah, I would also, so these, they come in a kit, but you can get them individually as well. Hopefully by the end of this video, if you're only going to pick up one or two, yes. hopefully between our two skin tones, you can get an idea of what yes. shade would suit you. Yes. I feel like this is universal. Stay away from the first one. <laughs> Everyone. No, <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't do it. This is universal. Yeah, this is very nice. You yeah. don't have to fear. Next. Oh, this is where we start getting dangerous. This is I gotta go. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just like strange. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know how this is gonna look. Mm. This reminds me of a lot of eyeshadow shades I have. Yeah. I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh. Oh wow. Hmm, this is not what I expected. Oh my goodness. Hmm, this is Wait, actually it... very sheer. Yeah, and I like it that way. Looks like a glittery gloss. Yeah. Your technique was that you put it on and, and then, then let it dry. Yeah, let it dry. Don't wipe your lips together. Yeah, that looks lovely. You look, look like an pretty. autumn bitch. <laughs> a full ass bitch. <laughs> How do wow. I make it look so even in the ad? Like, I want to look like that girl, you know? <laughs> that looks amazing on you. Here we are, two different skin tones, same shade. I think it looks nicer on you. I disagree. Really? What? You think it looks nicer on me? Yes. Well, okay, I think you may have gone in a bit heavier than I did. Mm, it's showing true. up more on you. Mm. Uh, I was just finding it was very sheer mm. on me. Glittery, but sheer, if that makes sense. It does look like two different lipsticks on us, actually. It looks like mm. a dark brown on me. Mm. And it looks like a... What would you say? Like a... A gold. It looks gold, like the... Yeah. Bronzy gold. Mm. Wait, let's go in one more time with you. Uh, do your technique. Yeah. You're officially oh, a beauty guru. <laughs> Surgeon's hands. Whoa. 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 It still looks better on you. I reckon. You have the magic touch, Tiasha. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so nice. Wow, because your eyeshadow right now is like the perfect shade for it too. See, I mm. don't really like to wear super shiny metallic lips. Mm. Metallic lips, uh, I had that time period where I only wore metallic lips yeah. and I was obsessed. I feel like there's an occasion for this. Sure. There's definitely an occasion. Yeah, this I'm is a nice though. shade. I like matte lipsticks. I'm yeah, same. Yeah. Basic bit. This is still very nice though. Mm. So what was this? This is I I gotta go. Mm. We nice. approve? Yeah. Can we approve? Yeah. Yeah. It's not for us, but I'm sure like it's the quality and the color is exactly what it looks yeah. like on the tube. Yeah. So. The last shade. Oh. Best to last. Shane, <laughs> the leader of the pack. You know what made me laugh? Like, th Jeffrey made this color for Shane. Did he? So that, yeah, that was shown oh. in the thing. So he was like, if you want this, this is something we've created for you oh, as your first. I forgot about that. If Jeffrey had given this to me and been like, this is called Tiasha, it's inspired by you, I would be so offended. I'd be like, what What about this inspired? What about this is me? <laughs> like, what would you say? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> You look like you've been eating pumpkin pie. <laughs> what about this is Shane? What do you think? Is it because Shane has dark brown hair? His dark and moody personality? No. Maybe. I He's don't not know. even dark and moody. Did they give an explanation as to why this was the Shane colour? No. For some reason, I do think of Shane when I see this colour. I think it's because you've seen him apply it to his own face so many times. Maybe. <laughs> that, could, that could definitely be it. Here we go. Oh, oh wow. Kind of got a bit of green. How do you feel? Like Medusa? Yeah, ooh, very cool. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a browny, bronzy green, if that makes any sense. Definitely not my colour. I would happily use this as a li uh, eyeliner, definitely. Yeah. This is kind of like how in Sophia Nygaard's Colourpop Lipstick Collab, she's got a shade that's, um, it's like green. It's like a dark green. Is it Brucey? I can't remember. There's a, there's like a green shade and I'm never going to wear that as a lipstick. I bought the bundle because I love Sophia, so that's why I bought it. But there's some shades in there I'll, I'll never ever wear. This is that same sort of boat for me. I don't like dark lipsticks at all, but like I said, can be used as an eyeliner. I will do that. It's somehow like silver and oh. gold at the same time. Yeah. It's really odd. I don't mind that on you. 
that was the easiest to apply for me. I don't know whether it's because we went through six, so I've just practiced six times now, but... Okay, here we go. Wow, okay. I really like that on you. It's less goth on me, yeah. for, for obvious reasons. Yes, yeah, less goth, I would say. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind it. It does. I think it looks nice. It, it looks better than I thought it was yes, going to. Yes, yes, I think definitely. we can both say that for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's everything. Are we doing the gloss? Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yes, I'm excited about that. <laughs> Me too. That's the one I'm thinking about buying, but I'm not sure. Okay, so now what we're going to do is try and compare some colours, because obviously I've got a lot of Jeffrey shadow palettes Wait, in front of me. Are we going to do the gloss? Oh, we could... <laughs> Shane Glosson. Mm. I'm the most excited about this. I love this packaging. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's so cool. Okay. Very minimalist. And the smell. Give it a smell. Oh! What? Yeah, what are you it's think? It's like herbs. It's like spearmint, but also like my mum's Indian herbs. <laughs> this is diet root beer scent. Oh. Kind of smell, smells like medicine a little bit to me. Yes. But in, in a good way, because I like that that like oh. cough medicine smell. That, never... That's what root beer smells like oh, in America. Oh, wow. That's what he's... Ooh, I'm not sure about that. Texture-wise, very creamy, very thick, very, very thick, but not sticky, not sticky in any way at all. I really like this. I mean, I feel like there's not that much you can say about a clear gloss. gloss. Yeah. But it looks great. I really like This is very comfortable. Some clear glosses are very tacky and sticky, and when you put your lips together and you pull them apart, there's like little gloopy bits. This is really super comfortable. This is the gloss that you would have in your handbag, and you just keep pulling it out all throughout the day and just keep putting it on. Oh, uh, I'm buying this. You're buying this? I'm buying this. That looks so nice. I love how it just accentuates your natural lip color. <gasps> Looks really pouty. Because I, like, I don't always want to wear lipstick, but I don't want my lips to look chapped. There you go. So yeah, you should get this. Yeah. The mm. only product I wasn't able to get on Princess Polly, they didn't sell the balm. There was like a little lip ammo, oh, a balm. That, Princess yeah. Polly didn't have that. Maybe that was a exclusive to the Jeffree Star Cosmetics website. Mm. But I love this. Yeah. I wish I'd bought more of this because I feel like I'm going to go through that really quickly. Yeah. I'll just keep applying yeah, this all definitely. throughout the day. <laughs> this is lovely. It it is. Okay, so now let's do some comparisons. Okay. So we'll compare Ranch to Cullinan from Blue Blood. Ooh. Oh, I like that more. Oh, oh, that one's more shimmery on me. Wow. Okay, that shade, the Cullinan from Blue Blood, is excellent. And it's, uh, I think, that it's wow. more it's more of a frosty white. I thought the Ranch shade was vibrant, but compared to this one, it's yeah. actually quite muted. Yeah, this one has way less shimmer in it. Yeah. The Jawbreaker shade from Jawbreaker. Yep. Okay, straight away, the Jawbreaker shade has more shimmer. way more gold. Ah, yes. They it's, are, way, it's golden. Yeah, that's yeah, gold. Great. Completely different. Good. In pictures, they looked somewhat similar. Yes. On, very different. Very different. There is also Pluto oh, from Alien, is. which is more, this is like a creamy kind of white shimmer. This one also is gold for me, or like a half gold. Yeah, okay. So that's all four of them. Yeah. Uh, I like the Cullinan shade best. Yes, that's Blue Blood. That's from Blue Blood. Yes. We've got My Pills in... Conspiracy versus Untouchable in Blue Blood. Yeah, so there it is. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't know. My pills turns up way better yeah. on me, but the Untouchable shade isn't as chalky. Yeah. But Untouchable is definitely more pink yeah, than my pills. Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. Okay, so we're looking at Tanacon from Conspiracy compared to Gravity from Alien and Celebrity Skin from Blue Blood. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, oh, Gravity! Very oh. similar. <laughs> That looks almost identical. Okay. Well, that's only one shade. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. At least. <laughs> We're not trying to find, like, you know, drama here. It's just, it's just it's, interesting. Yeah, it's just yeah. interesting to see, you know, the similarities. Yeah. And it is very similar. Okay, next up is Diet Root Beer from Conspiracy versus Dutch from Blood Sugar. Oh, for me, they look very different. Isn't that interesting? For me, they look almost the same. You're right. You almost look identical. Like the same shade. Hmm. Mine, you can. Th it's picking up the yellows in the uh, in Dutch far more. I really like these brown colors, though. Yeah, I think it's too. good to have a shade like this in a palette. Yeah. It's just a good transition shade. Yeah. So I understand why there's a somewhat similar color mm -hmm. between these two. We've got My Rides here from Conspiracy versus Black Hole from Alien, which I think is actually the only black shade from all these palettes that I yeah, have here. Correct. It's funny. I'm I'm surprised. I didn't realize that he had so few black shades in his palettes. I thought there was way more, right? Yeah, that <laughs> never occurred to me. So I'm glad that there's that black shade in yeah. there. Really helps for those smoky looks. Mm. Trisha from Conspiracy versus Cotton Candy from Jawbreaker. Ooh, one's Cotton much creamier. Candy. Whoa! Wow! Wow! They are super different. Wow! And they're both 
beautiful. Whoa. Okay, I actually like cotton candy more than I like Trisha. Oh yeah, it's more. It's actually more Trisha than I thought. Yeah, like, I thought Trisha Isn't was that, that color. Both of these are beautiful colors though. Yeah. They're not. They're not the same. No. So you couldn't say like, oh, he's only just taken that no. shade from Jawbreaker and put it in Conspiracy. Absolutely there is not. definitely a difference. Yes. I like the one in Jawbreaker better. Mm. I think Jawbreaker is my favorite palette to date. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Let's have a look at what's the tea from Conspiracy versus Minty from Blue Blood. Okay, they are somewhat similar. Oh wow. I mean, they're. they're Different enough yeah. that I wouldn't say that they're the same. Diet Cola versus Divine from Thirsty. They're similar. I mean, they're both silver. I feel like there's only so much you can do with silver, but... Oh, wow. Oh, on look you, they look, Yeah, they look just the same. Wow. I mean, silver is another staple, I feel, but... Okay, so the two silver shades are definitely similar, mm -hmm. but even though there's a couple of things that are similar, then there's nothing that it's like, there's three from that palette yeah. that are the same. It's like yeah. there's one from Thirsty that's similar, or there's one from Jawbreaker. One from Blood Sugar. Yeah. So that's okay. That's so fine. That's totally fine. Illuminati versus Probe. Oh, Illuminati is more green. Yes. M more green, similar shade. Yeah. M more green, I would say Probe is more s sort of like a blackish silvery. I love the black like underlayer of Probe. Like when you drag it out, see how that's just Oh black. Yeah. yeah. Similar, but not the same. Not the same. Not the same. Both really nice shades. But the green is very similar on my skin. Yeah, it's it is. incredibly similar. Okay, so I don't know how helpful you guys are going to find those comparisons. <laughs> I mean, just a little bit of fun, just yeah. to see. Uh, my main concern when I first watched the video was that I thought that there was a lot of similar shades in Blood Sugar mm. than in Conspiracy. Turns out, not so much. Like, not really at so all. much at all. Yeah, no, isn't they, that interesting? They've done a really good job. Yeah. I really like this palette. It's very versatile. I think that this will make a lot of people happy. Mm. But at the end of the day, I think most people are buying it to support Shane. It's a collectible at this it's point, It's a collectible, right? like, definitely. You want to be part of this whole saga yeah, that's well, happened on the internet. We feel like we're, we've watched the whole series. Yeah. We've been there on the journey we're part with them. Of something, it's yeah. all come full circle now. Mm. You feel like you're part of something. Yeah. Are you guys going to buy it? Let us know in the comment section below. So if you aren't bored out of your mind <laughs> right now and you want to see me try and do a makeup look with this, <laughs> then stick around. Okay, and I'm all done with my makeup look. I played it pretty safe today. I just used the neutral shades and I used the purple and some pink and some frosty white. And that's about it because purple and white is my favorite color combination for eyeshadow. But also those bold colors do frighten me a little bit. And 
While I don't mind embarrassing myself on camera that much, I feel like that would be an absolute disaster if I just tried to do a colourful makeup look on camera without practicing. So if you want to find me on Instagram, my Instagram's pretty pastel please, and I can play around with the colours and experiment a bit more and post some more looks over on Instagram. We know that Jeffree Star makes some of the best eyeshadow in the industry. The colours are highly pigmented, they're very easy to blend out. I had a tiny little bit of an issue with some of the darker colours. I found them just a little bit patchy in some spots, but I was able to work it through. I feel like for an amateur like me, it doesn't look too bad. So on my lips, I have Are You Filming, and I went over the centre with I Gotta Go, just very, very lightly to give it a little bit of a pop to make my bottom lip look larger. There does seem to be a lot of kickback in the pan, uh, especially with my pills. It was very powdery and it kind of went everywhere. Do you like this? Yes. I think my favourite thing from the Shane Dawson Conspiracy Collection is probably the lip gloss. It smells amazing, it's a really really nice texture, it's very very comfortable on the lips. I love this red lipstick, Are You Filming? I really like the mini controversy palette, obviously I didn't use that for the eye look today, but I feel like this is more of a go-to for me than the larger palette. The thing that I'm most upset about is that we didn't get that beautiful green shade in the palette, I wish that that was in there. But aside from that, I think that they did an excellent job with the colours. I love that there's three different rows, that you've got a neutral row, a very, very bold row, and then a dark and smoky row. If you guys liked me having Tiasha here to test out the colours on two different skin tones, please leave a comment below or give us a thumbs up on this video. It's so much fun to do makeup with a friend. So if you guys found that helpful, then I'm more than happy and she's more than happy to keep appearing in the videos. So let us know your thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you you know when we post more videos. Follow us on Instagram, it's pretty pastel please. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!